number two for Star Scorecard, cheat code 5.4F. We're talking about, we're in algebra, straight algebra. We're talking about multi-step problems. This is video two, so no need to go over the vocab, but we're simplifying expressions. We're solving these math expressions, okay? Watch video one if you want to go over the, the, the concepts and the vocab again. Okay, Sheila works six hours each day, each. So that's multiply or divide, right? Anytime you see each, it's just gonna be multiply or divide. Um, six hours each day for five days. She makes $15 per hour. Which expression shows how much she will make? Six times five times $15 per hour, right? Six times five. Oh, that's not it. Cause it's, 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 it's not adding. We're not adding. If she works six hours for five days each, right? That's 30 hours. Six times five is 30. If she makes $15 per hour, every time you see per, that equals multiply. Per equals multiply. Okay? 15 times 30, or 30 times 15, we'll add a zero. This is how much money she made, right? She made, she made $15 per 30 hours. So uh, three times five is 15, carry my one, $450. This is not bad. Okay, so multiply, we have to multiply. Six times five times 15. So that's an addition and addition. This is all multiplication. Look, if she worked six hours, Six hours, $15 per hour, so 15 times six is 30. Five times six is 30, six times one is six, plus three is nine. What is 90 times five? Let's do that, 90 times five is zero, and then nine times five is 45. Look, I solved the problem two different ways, so you can check your own answer. This is correct. This is correct. Remember the associative property of multiplication. Six times 15 times five is the same as saying six times 15 times five. And it's the same as saying 15 times six times five. There you go. All right. Using the order of operations, we know that the parentheses is always first. Parentheses always first. Which operation should you perform last to evaluate this expression? If you get a question like this, I want you to write this down. Pim Das. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And what is parentheses? P is parentheses. That's what you need to write down so you keep everything in order. You gotta do the subtraction last. There you go. It's awesome. You didn't even have to solve the problem. Just understand this is the order of operations. Okay. What is the value of this expression? Ah, let's solve it. Look, this is a double grouping. Bracket on the outside and then parentheses on the inside. So let's do three times two is six. So we have 36 plus six inside our brackets divided by six. So we need to do the groupings first, the brackets, the parentheses first. 36 plus six is 42. 42 divided by six equals seven, right? because seven times six is 42. You have to know your times tables. That never goes away in math. Know your times tables, practice them, practice them, practice them. Answer seven, 42. Okay. At a clothing store, Zoe bought two shirts for 725 each. Two shirts, okay? And two pairs of jeans for $24 each. Those are cheap jeans. I needed to shop there. 
She used a coupon for ten dollars off the total price of the clothes. The discounted of the price, uh, the discounted price of the clothes that we bought can be found using this expression. Perfect. Here, here is the expression. What is the discount in price in dollars? What is the discounted price in dollars and cents of the zo of the clothes Zoe bought? The discounted price. This is just tricky vocabulary. All you have to do is solve this equation. That's it. Solve that, that math expression. So let's do it. There's, there's a double grouping here. 2 times 725. Okay? So let's do that. 725 times 2. Zero, okay, my one, two times two is four, plus one is five. Decimal, because there's one, two places, right? One, two. And then two times seven is 14. 1450, perfect. So that is 1450 plus two times 24 is 48. And then we have our bracket. What is uh, 48, zero, zero, keep a decimal, 1450 is zero, five, and we're adding these together. 12, six, one plus four plus one is six, 6250. Then we minus $10, minus $10 is 5250. There you go, 5250 is our answer. Take a deep breath when you get big equations. Slow down. Check your work. Write PIMDOS on your paper. You guys know, you know that, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, and there's no reason to get tricked by a double bracket, double grouping. Number seven, what is the value of this expression? This is plain and simple. We have to do this. Double grouping, six plus three, nine, 45 minus nine inside the bracket, and that is uh, 36 times 27, right, that's times 27. So what's 36 times 27? 36, 27, ah, 20. <laughs> Guys, sometimes mistakes happen when you're writing, you just gotta start over, okay? 36 times 27, 36 times 27. Seven times six is 42. Seven times three is 21 plus four is 25. Add my zero because I'm moving over to the tens place. Two times six is 12. Two times three is six plus one is seven. Two, seven, nine, seventy-two. That's our answer. Okay, last question, I believe. No, two more questions. This will be the last question. All right. There are 950 boxes at a shoe store. Remember, it's all these bullets. Take a deep breath, one line at a time. Half of the boxes contain athletic shoes. 950 divided by two. 950 divided by two. That's half of the boxes is athletic shoes. Another 125 minus 125 contains dress shoes. Of the remaining boxes of shoes, four out of five contain sandals. Okay, so I'm not gonna not gonna confuse you. Based on the expression below, how many of boxes at the store contain sandals? Whew. Okay. Look, based on the expression, it tells us, hey, just do this and you get the answer. Okay, so we don't even have to worry about all the language. Solve this problem. Okay, so 950 divided by 2. 950, because here is the grouping. So we'll do division before we do subtraction. PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. 950 divided by 2. 4, remainder 1. 2 goes into 15 how many times? Goes into 15 7 times, remainder 1. 2 goes into 10 5 times, 475. 475 minus 125. Well, what is that? 475 minus 125, 0, 5, 350. So now we have 4 times 350 
is four. The any number outside of a parenthesis, you multiply the parenthesis. Four times three hundred and fifty divided by five. So let's do that. Four times three hundred and fifty. Three fifty times four. Four times zero is zero. Four times five is twenty. Carry the two. Four times three is twelve. Plus two is fourteen. Fourteen hundred. Okay. Now, now look. Fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred divided by five is what? Fourteen hundred divided by five. Five goes into fourteen two times. There's your remainder of four. Five goes into forty. Eight times, there's a remainder of zero. Five goes into zero, zero times. 280 is my answer. How cool is that? It's right there. 280. All right. Algebra, a lot of steps. You've got to do a lot of scratch work on your paper. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos, and we'll see you next time.